So starting off, we have a bog standard tree here. It's a pine tree. Um, I've got it from Evermotion, but you can use any tree um, as long as you've got you know some good geometry. Um, so to start off with, you're going to want to just create the the geometry. So um, for the for the snow. So if we close this and just go and have a quick look at the tree, you can see we've got um, the trunk geo. Um, there's some sort of branch geo, and then we've got all of these kind of pine. Um, uh, bits of geometry that um, have got opacity maps on them so we want to save those and get rid of all of the the trunk geo and then we can bring that into Houdini so the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to select uh, the bark materials and I'm going to um, select objects from material and then just delete um, that geometry um, so we're left with the the leaves and I'm going to just do it again because I've got two bark materials here um, so depending on the complexity of your tree, you may only need to do that once. So once I've got rid of those, we're left with just the leaf geo, and that's all we need. So if you select that, and then go to File, Export Selection, you get your export box up, and then just export this as an OBJ. Now I've already gone ahead and done this, um, so let's jump into Houdini, and I'll show you the workflow there. So I've imported the um, OBJ, and this is um, just the raw geometry from um, that tree. And so you bring in via a file merge, like so. And what I'll do is I'll just sort of go through um, each of the nodes here um, and what they're doing. So firstly, you get the geometry. Um, and then I start with a poly extrude here. And the reason for that is just to give some thickness to these um, planes, because these are actually just um, planes for uh, uh, the opacity mapped pines so if you chuck a poly extrude on there you'll get a bit of thickness and it'll just help um, when we convert this to a VDB which we'll get to so then now these are extruded I've smoothed them again this is just to help the shape out a little bit and then what we want to do is convert this to um, to a VDB so dropping down a v VDB from polygons um, node. If we have a look at what that does, we get this kind of VDB of our geo. Uh, the reason this is being done is to just kind of create a, a nice smooth um, content continuous piece of geometry like you would get with snow rather than this breakup that we're having before, which is obviously leaves. So it, this, this process will enable us to get much smoother geometry um, going forward. And then now we have that, we'll convert this um, back into the polygons. So that's what I've gone ahead and done. And then this is quite high um, poly. So I've got a poly reduce here as well. Um, so I've dropped down the poly um, uh, poly count. And then there's a smooth node, just to smooth it out, get it looking a bit more like snow. Um, and then finally, I'm writing out as a a snow. Um, I'm writing it as an OBJ. So, just going over um, back over this, a um, couple of things you can do to sort of get different looks is the poly extrude. If you increase the thickness a little bit, so if we um, double that up, you'll end up with. Uh, if we give it a second to uh, to cook, you'll end up with slightly thicker um, snow. Uh, because you've got thicker leaves it's starting off with um, so that's one way of increasing or decreasing the, um, the thickness of the snow because uh, you'll probably want variations um, and then if you go to your VDB from polygons um, the voxel size you can play with that a little bit um, to again just get thicker or thinner snow um, and the smooth as well. So there's a few ways you can sort of um, play around with the numbers um, just to get slight variations. And if you wanted to go further than that, you could break up the VDB with some noise um, and that will just help create a bit of variation. So now we've got this kind of uh, snow geo. We wanna, now we've written it out, we wanna jump back into Maya um, and uh, import it. Now I've got a Maya here which I have imported it to. Um, we'll get to that render in a second. Um, so I, you import your OBJ in, and 
all you want to do uh, with the, the OBJ, you can see here in the translate Y, if I print the zero again, just lift it up ever so slightly. Um, so it's actually sitting more on the branches. So if you lift that, that's how I have it set up. And then shading wise, it's very simple kind of shading setup. So if I just bring up the shading network, you can see um, I've got the, uh, the the weight of the base down and the specular is, is kind of a rough white. Um, you've got the presets here. Um, if you click on IOR, you can, the IOR, you've got ice, so that's set to ice there. And then in subsurface, that's set to one. Um, played around with the scales a little bit for the scene and then quite a bright white color, just off white because snow's not pure white. Um, and then I've put a slight tint of blue into the radius. So if we go back to the render, you can have a look and see that it gives you this kind of um, ever so slight blue tint to the subsurface uh, look of the shader. So that's a quick overview of how that process is and I just hope it helps you with um, putting snow on trees for that Christmassy look. So uh, thanks for watching.